for being in the pain and fear loop, you're looking pretty good, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Never forget how badass you actually are, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> how do I pronounce your name properly? Fra František Fanda. You can call me Fanda. František. Or you can call me Fando. Fanda. Fando. Fanda. Mm -hmm. Fando is like uh, the way Czechs call me, call me but. Uh, Foreigners usually Fanda, it's okay. Fanda or Fando? I don't know which one is the most appropriate or the yeah. most comfortable. Uh, yeah, Fanda is like Czech way. Because Fanda. Uh, we, we turn the last letter if we call a person. Right, nice. Okay, very good. Fanda then, well, yeah, yeah. awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I just finished my joint. <laughs> Well, there's a, there's always more, right? It gr I heard it grows on trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I will allow myself to let my energy expand and and uh, let you uh, have most of it accessible for you, so so that you can see more, as, as much as, as as possible, all right? All right. I might cry. It's yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> sure. I already uh, have quite a, quite a lot of assistance from Asasani, but uh, yes. yeah, it's still I prefer now this. <laughs> you think it's not related? I don't think so. <laughs> sure it is. And uh, and I believe that um, well, this is this is what amazes me. Let let put let's put it as a question or statement. Uh, I usually have no problem whatsoever in uh, transforming whatever I am dealing with on myself when I interact with people. Yes. And uh, I need to interact yes. in in the way that I'm giving my myself away, you know. Yes. And uh, when I'm when I'm working with myself, I wonder why is it, why is it not as easy as working with other people, you know? Oh, <laughs> good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's very simple. I, I, if you ask me, uh, I know, I think I know what you're talking about, or I can relate to what you're talking about. I mean, now we can say, of course, I can relate. Uh, um, Basically, the idea is that when you deal with someone else, and even if you help them, you reflect them the idea of you know joy and bliss and love and everything, and it's very easy. It can feel very good for you and can be very simple. It can be very obvious what the right action is to assist that individual, and it works well, of course. And and then when it's with yourself, quote unquote, then it just seems to be one step closer to your own ego or to your own definition of. Uh, human incarnation upon this planet right now. So it can be a little bit more difficult to remember that you are even one step further removed from that because, of course, you know you're not your body and all of that, of course. But there it can be a bit more difficult to remember that than if it's someone else who, of course, actually is yourself. But it's more easy to separate the energy and really clearly look at them or love them 
when they seem to be to some degree separated from you, at least you know physically in that sense or whatever, because of course actually you're always healing yourself no matter whom you're talking to, no matter whom you're helping. So this would be the first the first answer. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, it makes sense. Now how do I make it as easier? Well, yeah, I, I understand that uh, that what what is creating the difference is my definitions about myself. Then why do I make myself so different from them? If it, <laughs> does, it doesn't matter really uh, which eyes I'm looking at all of myself through, you know, so. I mean, it is it is a difference in experience, and it is a different difference maybe in intensity, and because still we are primarily located as a consciousness, as a fractal uh, within the body, or let's say the way we are experiencing ourselves right now, the most, uh, let's say, the lowest vibration, well, lowest, just technically speaking in that way, Yes. in a sense, is the human definition which we have as an individual, because it's like the most broken down, right? So that's mm -hmm. like the deepest the deepest anchor we have in this reality. So it's very normal that, you know, there it's even more visceral in a sense, and in that sense can seem more difficult to resolve things because you are really the one inhabiting yourself, first of all, and there's really no one else there. I mean, in that sense, there's, well, there's also many other entities there at the same time, but it's like you have, as you're primarily identifying with your body, which is what you should be doing in a sense, yeah, it's normal that this is the, in a sense, the most difficult playing field because there it's the thickest. Because everyone else has their anchor thrown out as well, but to their own individualized consciousness, which for them in this experience right now is their own body. So it's like, it's normal because you have, you know, the, the main charge or whatever of your own body first, which in this way really no other consciousness can possibly inhabit. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Because we are now defining ourselves as personalities or as humans as well, so we have this specific configuration which then looks like an individualized entity. Um, so, yeah, even here, Again, just you know, love and acceptance and understanding that, of course, this can be more difficult or can appear to be yeah, all of these things, right? But just remember the greater scheme and the phases, the phases and that you're on an upward spiral. So even if it's shaky, it's not because you're moving down, but it's actually because you're moving into higher and higher realms where, where any resistance you're having becomes more and more accentuated and pronounced in each and every now. So it can even be that in that sense you're actually making very great progress every now, but you're not even noticing because your sensitivity and the frequency is increasing in such a manner because you're always synchronized with the reality, so you're in lockstep, that in a sense it still seems difficult even though you already made big steps because it just keeps moving right now and you're just in a sense pulling or pushing yourself along, maybe even accelerating yourself through that process of having this cyclical idea of pain and so on coming back and back and back and back and back in ever higher degrees of sensitivity, accuracy, and precision. So you can really, you know, get down to it, but eventually, as all negative beliefs, as all negative emotions, uh, they must transform. Oh, thank you. This was, this was really quite helpful because I, I, got, to, I got to understand that, that uh, even though it's really understand, I, I knew this, but uh, I, I got to really understand that even though it seemed that I, I was not moving uh, f forward in this particular thing, uh, when, I, when, I was, uh, when I had to wash my tooth every, every few minutes, that uh, along with it I was dragging the rest of me, which which uh, had to see it through that through that perspective, to yes. know to know more, to know my to know myself more. I understand this now. And you would not choose a particular frame of experience if it was not the most beneficial for you to catalyze yourself into a high understanding of yourself in that very moment. 
So no matter how strange it looks, how painful and so on, you can know it's the very, very best you actually offer yourself now. Of course, you can always choose when you're ready, you know, to flip polarity, streamline yourself, and then it will be easy from that moment on. But as long as that moment isn't there yet, you know that that moment of so-called pain or whatever is exactly the very best thing you can look at right now to really catalyze yourself because it's not, you know, then when, when you're in these things, it seems like, oh my God, will this go on forever? I feel so bad, whatever. But of course it won't. It can't. <laughs> and, uh, but it's, at the same time, it's really relevant because remember, um, there is not many places where you can have a human incarnate experience and there's not many places where you can achieve this high degree of transformation within only one single incarnation. So, uh, Never forget that, you know, we're on a super hardcore, high speed, crazy ride here. So, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, uh, as, as you're speaking, to, uh, I, I, I hear the, like, uh, multiple communication going on. Oh. Well, thank you. Very good. <laughs> what, you, what you are hearing is much more important than what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, it's it's kind of, it's the same. It's 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 working together. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, and I, I want to I want to put it out uh, in words also to to say yes, the other please. part, but uh, but it's kind of like uh, this is another thing. Um, why? Um, would I continue to um, cut these voices that that uh, that go together with with every communication uh, and uh, and not not hear them if I believe that, that it's that it's uh, really beneficial for me to hear them? Because what you can know, and of course you know. In my experience, and also now when I think back to myself, like, you know, 10 years ago or something, or even longer, I remember that actually the voice of myself that I always really liked and was, in a sense, talking to, or when I was talking to myself, uh, was always the voice of my own higher self, you know? And, uh, and of course, there's many different aspects and so forth, but... Um, why not, you know, have all the perspectives because even though I just said we are primarily this individualized entity, it's also my uh, firm belief, let's say, that we are actually at the same time, in a sense, channeling many different entities or let's say at least many different frequencies, of course, and are just condensing them and combining them into an individual. And there we could say, okay, there's different ideas of, you know, animal frequencies, alien frequencies, or at least that are in resonance with these frequencies. So, um, and then of course the great thing is even all of these frequencies in a sense which we are allowing to come in, uh, they, are, they are us because we're everything, but at the same time we have the singularity point from which we can freely choose to which of the voices we wish to listen to and in what way, and especially also how we wish to respond to them. Because I can even list, I can even look look at you know the greatest horror show. If I can smile about it, you know, it doesn't yeah. affect me much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it's an illusion, anyways. <laughs> Any of these, and then it's just back to choice. Um, I have experience uh, where um, I was uh, expanding this uh, this ability of mine to to hear multiple communications conversations at the same time and uh, I went through the point where I was talking to the one person but I heard myself speaking with thousands of other people and I, I knew that that this communication is always going on and only the yes. one I focused on I was yes. I was directly like trying to control or controlling yes. and influencing but when I was, I mean, I removed myself from it even more. It was, uh, it was all going quite perfect, you know, without me needing to uh, yes. control it. Yes. Yeah, so I want to get to the point where I don't need to control what I, because I now now you can see that my voice is stopping, stopping, stopping. You know, and yes. this is 
I don't, I know I don't have to do that. So why, why do I keep uh, going back there? Right. Well, um, of course, I mean, control, of course, is my favorite topic anyways. <laughs> um, of course, we know that we are actually never really in control from a limited perspective, but we are always in control from a higher perspective. And the more we allow ourselves to realize that, we can just relax, surrender, enjoy the moment, and trust that our higher self will just flow us along, you know? Sure. And, and the more we can surrender to this, the, the more fun it is because, you know, the, the passenger isn't always trying to, to, isn't always grabbing the wheel, you know, like yeah. a crazy person. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's like, would you just, you know, chill the fuck out and enjoy the ride? And you'd be like, all right, okay. Maybe maybe you actually can drive, you know? And the higher self is like, Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know I can drive as my hair self much much smooth much more smoothly, but uh, uh, why do I keep returning to my egoic self? This but, but don't 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 forget it for it. It's about it's about the also the understanding of the ego and of of your own ego and the whole idea, you know, of what is an ego even. Because think about it. Now you can think and speak about it. How many people do not even have a frame of reference of what that even is? Because they never, to any degree, saw themselves bigger consciously, you know? So first of all, congratulations to that. And secondly, what I would uh, remember is, especially now, as we know, we are entering whatever this will exactly mean, this idea of fourth density experience, where time and space and communication and transportation and everything will be very different. So it is my estimate that right now uh, and the past years, but you know, again and again in a sense, and who knows, it might still take a little bit of time, but especially those who really want, now is the perfect time to in a sense push ourselves and explore certain ideas and so on, because on the one hand, maybe in 10 years this will not really be possible in this way anymore oh, or in 20 yeah. years first of all, and secondly, because we know that the acceleration also within physicalized reality is crazy right now, rather than already now jumping in and being like, oh, you know, I feel perfect, I can do everything and whatever, I mean, you know, whatever that means, it's even more important now for individuals like us, in my estimate, who want to, or for whom it is the phase, to also go in even more and look at this stuff even more, because imagine then when you have really condensed and crystallized yourself, and not just say, oh, okay, there's still some cold, there's some specks on it, it's not really transparent, but when you really pressurize yourself so much that you are now a perfect diamond, then you can take that diamond, insert into the free energy <laughs> generator, is what I'm just saying now, but whatever, yes, insert into the lab, because only this degree of perfect formation of consciousness, perfect crystallization, transparency, and reflectiveness is really super conductive enough to allow a fourth density experience without resistance. I understand. Because otherwise, I mean, think, can, can you imagine this? It's just too crazy. And even for us, it's you know, crazy right now to think about it and all of that, but this is really a different world of experience, which you know we are coming into anyways, but I think, I mean, you got the point of what I was saying. So yeah. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Okay, well, just uh, now to my mind is coming uh, this. Uh, I, I I've invented tool that really works for me quite perfectly, but I have variations of this tool. Right. What what rule? Tool. Oh, tool. Right. Yeah. And still, still, I'm. Um, uh, for example, with, with the pain, with the tooth, it worked, 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 and that then in certain point I wasn't even able to get back to it. I lost trust to it, you know, because and then I, yeah. Where is your pain located? If you can locate it. Uh, yeah, it's my tooth here. It's okay, great. 
but that's great. Uh, have you already looked at the tooth, what it means as a yes. position? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I assigned to it the meaning that it, uh, it's uh, connected to my uh, like this 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 really important nerve <laughs> that, that uh, goes here, you know, goes here, yes. goes around my neck and yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, I feel that it's manifestation of, or I believe that it's manifestation of of uh, my resistance in letting this energy flow through my yes uh, yeah yes back neck yes you know yes and the reason why why I usually resist it is because it becomes I become um, <clears throat> Yeah, this this is what I realized today. You know that I become too aware of the negative. For me to yes, and I I realized when I'm uh, getting more aware of the negative, I'm also getting at the same time more aware of the positive side of it. So it's mm -hmm. it's good for me to to do that. But mm -hmm. uh, I still choose to to stop this because. It relaxes me not to, you know, to look at all these things, you know, that that might be negative, in, or that I still might uh, see as negative. Mm -hmm. Would you understand that the the idea of uh, well of the paradox that it's always you know this polarity, but at the same time, and if you want to be super conductive, I would say uh, there is no. I don't think it would be a problem not to look at the polarity, but just remain in neutrality, just remain in the absolute, because it's just a game. And then you yes. can choose to be aware or you're not aware. But if you're not running away from the polarity, but just rest within the absolute, I don't think that this should create any resistance or cause any pain. You, you see what I'm saying? Because there you would have the neutralizing force of the one within yourself, and there can be no resistance because there you're one with everything. And, yes. and but at the same time, in this position, you don't have to look at positive or negative because it doesn't even exist. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no, I uh, I'm able to to go into neutrality quite deeply and really experience everything as equal and neutral. I know I'm able to do it. But uh, it still seems to me that it, uh, that it comes with the circumstances. If I'm if I'm uh, calm enough, you know, or I don't know. I don't know why do I condition that? Because yeah, because it I, serves I, you I, in I, some I, way, I shape, or form. Myself, you know, now where when we interact, I and I talk about this this idea, I can feel it. You know, so it's like. Breathe in neutrality. Breathe out neutrality. You know, and I do do this breathe in, breathe out, whatever I choose. Very often I assign breathe in light, you know, breathe in calmness. What yes. works very well is for me just breathe in consciousness, breathing out mm. consciousness, you know. And uh, and the most powerful uh, variation of this for me was uh, to realize that I'm encapsulated in my dream. Yes. Which is um, which is the non-physical me, and that is encapsulated in uh, in the largest me, which is all that is, which is just pure white light and infinitely uh, free, <laughs> you know. Yes. And um, and uh, within this this non-physical dream, which I consider kind of a black hole, you know, that that this first separation from this all that is, I said I'm not all that is. I'm just this entity, right. you know. I condense the um, or this this is the condensation of the consciousness, but the, in it, it there it becomes kind of like bubble of of my universe, you know, physical universe, 
which is just one promile of it or, or even less. And uh, I realize it, it's it's happening every moment, you know, it's like, like, again, I condense with this greater consciousness, again, I uh, polarize even more and, and say, I'm not this, I'm not this, I'm not this, and right. make myself physical, you know. So uh, with that knowing, I, I said to myself, I breathe through the dream, the white light inside the bubble, you know, and into everything uh, around me, which I know that I'm part of, you know. Yes, yes, yes. And I yes. breathe in this as the white light and then allow the white light, you know, to become that physical reality, you know. Yes, yes. This is very strong, but uh, still, I'm, even now when I'm talking about it, like, I don't really, like, that viscerally feel it as I would prefer. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then you know you still have some resistance to the idea of exactly that being you. And that is potentially also reason why, you know, these pains would ever come up. Because your higher self is simply telling you, hey, you're ready, look at this now. Then you can, you know, come here. You want this and this and this. Of course, first deal with this, you know, then you can catalyze yourself, of course, right? Because you're saying you want all of that. And the higher self is saying, well, you know, deal with all of this first. And really, if <laughs> I can tell you, if I would not have absolute trust in this mechanism, I would already have gone completely insane. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but also, it proves itself to work perfectly each and every time. So, who am I to complain? <laughs> That, that's that's a good uh, phrase. Who am I to complain? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not really, not, not just because of who am I, you know, and I'm many things, yeah. uh, but uh, because it's working, you know? So um, it's just always me in the moment complaining about some aspect of it if I forget the larger picture. But if I remain in awareness of that, then I can just be, ah, bring it on. And of course, also, often enough, you know, I'm feeling like crazy or, oh, my God, and I have some type of, you know, whatever, pain, crazy emotions, something. But it's okay, you know, and I can smile even if I'm crying, like I mentioned, mm. because I know it's just a game. And it's good that it's happening, you know. Yeah. So um, even if I don't know yet why. And I've had, even in the last year, I've had some crazy experiences and... Especially, in a, in a way, the two people I most love basically kind of told me, actually told now, that, that my presence, either in one, one instance or in many instances, made them feel really bad, even though I was only radiating love, you know, in the purest way I can. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah. intense experiences, whatever. But it, the thing is, it really doesn't matter, because the question is how you see yourself, what energy you choose for yourself, and you just keep digging in that. And also all the pain kind of forces you to deal with really yourself at the core and not be distracted by anything outside at all. Because of course, once you solve the small oh, yeah. thing right here, imagine what is the holographic fractalized representation of this aspect which you're talking about now within the reflection of your entire, at least, Earth parallel reality. When you resolve this, who knows what's going to happen in the world, in a sense. You know? Yes. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. in this way, maybe it can be more easy to be like, okay, I'm not just dealing with this shit, which whatever pain I'm having, but I'm actually dealing with the birthing of a new civilization right now, which we are, because we are holographically exactly that. And I mean, look at what's happening. So, you know, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. This you have been so helpful. I, I want to sum it up. Anyway, you know, so just, just, just all right. Just to if, sum it up, but it just if you like, would you like me to draw a card for you? Because I have the alien yeah, cards here, yeah. and I think it would be cool. I have five cards laying on on my table right now, so they are not available. But I'm sure the right one will will find you. And just uh, say stop, whatever you like. I'm just shuffling. Stop. Vega, yeah. 
future spiritual commitment. I don't can I create it? Can I put it a little bit further from the camera? Yeah. I don't recognize the picture anyway. It it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> the pictures uh, are well. These pictures they're really crazy. I I have the deck since like two years, and there's many pictures I didn't even really look at them yet because somehow I can't. I mean, or I do, but it's like. I don't. It's like something, or I don't know. They're really well made. I think <laughs> the pictures. It's thank you. Spiritual commitment. Yes. I mean, well. Yes. Yes. That's what, <laughs> that's what I am. Yes. Well. Yes. Yes, and it's also answer to to the sum up. <laughs> 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 The sum up is is uh, that the, that I have all the tools. I know all the tools that I uh, can use work very well. I, I have very strong ability to use them on uh, even myself or other people. And what I like about it is that most of the time it works automatically. But. Uh, then comes a time where, when, when um, I'm not able to use any of, of those tools on myself, or, or even on the person that, I'm, that, even on the person that seems too important for me at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you, you are beyond yeah. the tool. Your actual tool is your own higher self and your own love. So even if it doesn't seem to work, you love the fact that it doesn't work. And through that love, it actually works. Yeah. Because even you want to help someone, you try whatever you're doing, and it doesn't seem to to work. Then you can be all right. I bless myself. I bless you. Have fun. And just through this, the catalyst will come. Because it doesn't have to be you who's helping yourself or whatever in this moment. You can just trust and allow. And then either someone will help you to resolve your stuff or someone will come help the other person, or they suddenly realize something, or whatever. Because as you said, we are the entirety of the reality. So I can never be bound to a tool, and if it doesn't work, it just tells me, oh shit, of course, I'm even much bigger than that even. Crazy, but it's true. And even if I don't seem to be able to control the situation at all, or help at all, my acceptance of my own inability, apparently, to do anything, actually allows my higher aspect to say, Thank you. You finally stopped thinking that you can change anything. Let me help you. <laughs> because you stop, you stop fiddling around in the system like this. You finally remove your hand. Thank you. Now we can, you know, smooth it out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You've been so much blessed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to end this now and, and uh, yes. enjoy the rest of your yes. day. And we, you as well. I hope, I believe we will keep in touch and increase it. Yes, see, see you in the meow, yes, and have fun. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you.